How are y'all doing? The Trader Smith here. Today I'd like to go over a couple of different bearing packers. Uh, tell you what I like about both of them, what I don't like about them, and uh, hopefully that will help you in making a decision on what may work best for you. So let's get started. Um, remember to check the links below to both of these packers um, if you'd like to um, find one for yourself. So let's get started with this one. The, the first thing I like about this one in particular is that it has a cover that when you're done using it, you can cover it up, keep the grease out of it, or keep the dust out of the grease. So the way this one works, this is your cone that presses the bearing down, has a reservoir that you fill full of grease, and you can put actually a lot of grease in here. And you have two ways to do that. You can use this to pull the plunger out, and you can fill it full of grease by hand, or you can use a grease gun and attach it to the grease dirt, and it will pump new grease into the bottom of that. And the way it works is really simple. You take your bearing, cone down, stick it in, hopefully the camera can get that, put your plunger on and just put pressure. Now I will tell you if it's cold during the winter time and you're doing this, you may have to stick this somewhere uh, where it gets warm to flow the grease a little better. And that's it. I mean you have a good packed bearing. Hopefully you can get a good shot of that. I mean it's very very simple. Like I said when you're done, you can put that back stick it over and you can keep this pretty clean um, if you're doing it yourself we use these packers every day all day so they do get messy from time to time but they're easy to clean up so this is another packer that i've used in the past i will tell you it's not my favorite bearing packer by no means it's going to come three pieces in this package it's easy to assemble this is your bottom portion you'll screw that in with a grease dirt facing up and you'll put the bearing in it with cone up in the same direction as this, then attach the top piece and screw it down. The other item that you will have to have for this to work, and if you look, just try to get the bearing as straight in there as possible. Hopefully you get a good view of that. You will have to have a grease gun. Now I've got a Milwaukee grease gun here. And by no means do you have to have a cordless grease gun. Uh, I, just a regular old hand pump grease gun will work just fine. You're gonna squirt some grease in it. I'm gonna look to see if we got any grease coming out. We don't yet. So a good rule of thumb to have here is if you're gonna use this packer, make sure that your grease gun has grease in it because evidently my grease gun does not have the grease in it. So we'll be back in just a moment with a freshly filled grease gun and we'll redo this one. All right, now that we have our grease gun full, uh, we can reattach it to the Zert and let's see if we can get the bearing packed here. And just kind of check it after a little bit, I'll get this grease gun on high. So you can see the grease starting to come out now. So that's good. So we're gonna take it all and unscrew it. So as you can see, it's fully packed as well. So either one of these units will pack the bearing. They'll do a small bearing and they'll do up to a large bearing. Um, I prefer this one just because we use it every day. Um, it does a little quicker job and it's not quite as messy. As you can see, this one is messy, but this may be more for your budget. If you're only going to occasionally pack your bearings or if you got a single axle and you may use this thing once a year, every couple of years, then by all means, just do whatever is best for you. Either one of these will work. I do prefer this one um, over this one, uh, hands down but they're both effective. I hope this video has been helpful. I hope this will help you determine which one of these packers best suits your needs. Remember to check out our videos um, on trailer repair. We do have a very good video that goes in depth on how to pack your bearings using this method and the hand method as well. And also we have another good video on there how to check to see if your bearings are loose and maybe if they need to be packed.